about 100 to 140 feet long with 100 of rowers synchronizing the rowing movements together so they can cross the distance in the shortest time. I am at Nehru Trophy Boat Race in Kerala where thousands of Keralites have come together to cheer for their own team. This is Kerala for you. Good morning from Kerala. Well, finally the day has arrived, which has been on my bucket list for so, so, so long. Snake boat race happening today at 3.30 p.m. Ab subha ke saare 9 baje hai. And it's best to be there by 10, 10.30 to reserve a really good seat for yourself. And it's important to have a good breakfast because it's a long day with huge crowds. Mujhe wahan dikh raha hai ki bhoat achche se appam ban raha hai. Ab dosa banana mujhe aata hai. Never tried my hand at appam. So let's give this a go. Seaside Resort Marari Beach in Marari Kulam is a tribute to the fisherfolk community and their gentle ways of life. A walking distance away from the beach, everything here, from cottages to the swimming pool or the restaurant, this place echoes the simplicity, beauty and harmony that underlie in Malabar's coastal cultures. My quaint little villa came with a private pool, a large bed and an outdoor shower. Well, my first ever up pump. Looks really nice, crispy by the sides, fluffy from the inside. Excited to eat this now. You know, the reason why I chose to stay at Marari Beach Resort is, of course, you know, it's a beautiful property. But the other reason is that it's very, very close to Punnamada Lake, just about 30 minutes away. Exactly where the Nehru Trophy Stake Boat Race is. Now, snakes are not going There's nothing dangerous about this. It's just that the boat is so long, it's called a snake boat. And it's going to be a race. So, let's go. Nehru Trophy Boat Race started in the year 1952 during Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru's impromptu visit in the Kerala district Alapuza. Tab se lekar ab tak har saal yaha boat race ho rahi hai, where all the Keralites come together. This year is special because it's happening after three years, mainly cancelled because of Kerala floods and the pandemic. But the energy here is totally making up for the loss. Well, race ke ek din pehle, is boat ko wash kiya jata hai, clean kiya jata hai, to move it into the parking yard. Ek din pehle, pura inspection hota hai about how good the shape is of the boat. Aur aaj, sab ne ek worship kiya hai, apni hi boat ko. They are all doing locally performed ceremonies, praying for their victory. Ki aaj, jo bohat hi important din hai inke liye, they are all able to win it. So, I'm rooting for this team, jiska naam hai Ibra Kochin. Let's all root for them. <laughs> Well, the rains are usually the first sign for all the oarsmen to start preparing. The new talent is given to them to exhibit their skills under the supervision of senior most oarsmen. Every village, about 150 boys are selected, boys and girls or other oarsmen are selected to represent their own village for the final race day. Well, in this day, there are many races, but the highlight is the snake boat race. It's called snake boat chandan vulam. Forgive my pronunciation if it's wrong. But it's 140 feet long, which can hold up to 100 or more rowers. Besides, there are 4 helmsmen, 25 cheerleaders. They all ensure that the boat is in the good shape. And as much as possible, the boatsmen or the oarsmen, their horse is always alive. And they are always cheering themselves. 
the back of the boat is much higher, looking almost like a cobra head, and that's why the name came about. And on the occasion of Onam, we celebrate the snake boat race. It is locally called Vallam Kali. Vallam means the snake boat. Now what is going to happen is you're going to witness the final for the Chundan Vallam, which is the largest boat. I mean, this is one of the largest participated event uh, in the whole world, actually. About, at an event, about 400 plus, about 440, 450 people participate in that event. Which, uh, each boat has about 110 plus people participating. They practice for a month. Right. And each team spends more than 20, 30 lakhs to develop the team. And Kerala Police has been winning consistently much before this COVID and other things. And uh, this event is, of course, you can see the fervor. The, it's one of the, uh, you can say, uh, very unique to Kerala. And this, uh, this is coming as part of the Onam, Onam celebration. And basically, if you see uh, the physical activity like tug of war, this boating, all these things are part of Onam celebration. I think the race is just going to begin in the next few minutes. Where about more than 10 snake boats are queued up over there to see the sea of battles coming alive. This can easily be called the Olympics of Kerala. There are around uh, maybe 19 or 20 snake boats. From that, we cannot uh, conduct the uh, race for every boat at a time. Right. So we distribute them into five sections. So while the energy and emotion is great, let's not forget the commercial aspect of it. Because tickets go on sale weeks in advance, you will literally see sponsorship everywhere so clearly it is not just about people coming in together but also has huge commercial reasons behind it well, thousands of visitors and keralites have come to witness this spectacle they are all cheering for their respective villages tourists have just come to see the sea of battle come alive this energy is something There are lots of viewing points. You can be amidst the crowd right there or you can also opt in to be at the viewing deck of Ramada from where you can get an amazing aerial view of the entire boat race from the starting point to the finish line. Wow, that was quite an experience. Such energy pumping, adrenaline rushing kind of experience. You know, the competition was so neck to neck that it's very hard to tell who won. And I feel like this is one race that every Indian must experience once in their lifetime. So if you enjoyed watching the snake boat race with me, plan your trip next year to Kerala around the same time and enjoy Onam festivities along with the Nehru Trophy snake boat race. Until next time, it's me Kamya Chani signing off.